and welcome as we gather to celebrate the tree that is presented. Uh, this Advent season, we've been looking at God's family tree when it was promised, when it was planted, when it was pruned, and now it is presented to us in the birth of our Savior. Uh, the banner you see over here has the symbols that are referred to in your service folder. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see the symbols from where you're at, um, but I can, uh, mostly because my eye doctor dilated my pupils. So it's really great. Um, welcome as we gather, as the children present to us the best news that was ever told. Uh, as we rejoice in the gift that our Lord gives us, the tree that is presented, his family tree. And isn't it a great thing that we might have to our grafting into that tree? So God bless you this evening as you hear his word, as you hear the story told yet again, even by the youngest of our children. We begin with our opening.
way of blaming the punishment of people for their sins for their great flood. But God saved the family tree through Noah. Inside the ark were animals of every kind. Noah's family was there too. When the flood waters dried up, the animals that Noah had, and his family stepped out into the sunlight and onto the dry ground. And no, and God made another promise. Reading from the book of Genesis. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I establish my covenant with you, and never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the of the covenant between me and earth. When the bowl is in the cloud, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which he went proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey. When God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water, baptism which corresponds to this now saves you. Not as removal, not as removal, but dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for the conscience through the resurrection of Christ. This is the word of God. The family tree of God's promise was planted. Not all who have listened to his promise could take comfort in his word, fulfilled in Christ.
from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on the tree, so that in Christ Jesus the blessing of your man might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. This is the word of the Lord. Gospel according. 
going to jail. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. Years passed. God's people became slaves in Egypt. It was then that God chose a great leader for his people, Moses. Moses would lead God's people out of Egypt. He would give them God's holy law and speak to God face to face with them. Every year, God's people would remember and celebrate their deliverance from Egypt with a special meal called Passover. They learned that Passover pointed forward to an even greater deliverance from the slavery of sin. Saul, 
who God put away from before you, and your house and your kingdom shall be made shared forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. This is the word, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, when they heard these words, some of the people said, This really is the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, This is the Christ who came from Galilee. Has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? This is the word of the Lord. call his people back from sin and unbelief to listen to his word and to believe in him. One of the greatest prophets was Isaiah. In all the words he was given to speak, God gave signs and described the coming Savior. He told how the Savior would be born of a virgin. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men, and you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. But as Joseph, considering these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And this is what Christ fulfilled what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. This is the word of the Lord. A 
reading from the Gospel according to St. John, and the Lord became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of his only Son, from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me reigns before me because he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace, for the laws have given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Quietly, 
But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up from the sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Oh, 
known to us. And they went to and they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and a, and a baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it.
here as the tree is presented. We pray that you would continue to be blessed by this word and this tree as it is told as this Christmas season continues. As we near ever close to the birth of our Savior. That's the end of our evening together. God be with you as you go. Uh, but I do have a couple of things to say. My wife is going to start making announcements, and I'll be right back. Really, that's all we have. <laughs> I need it this time.